Hi guys, and welcome to Taylor Talk. We're just currently trying to get out of a one-way road with cars in both our directions and roadworks. It's just not happening. Today I'm here with Miss Bliss. <laughs> Hello. With Izzy. Oh, I was meant to turn there. There was a car oh, there. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're in Richmond right now, and it's just like impossible to get it's anywhere. really amazing. It's not great um, at all. This is super exciting. Yeah. I, I've never been in someone else's video before. <laughs> I wanted to start a driving series and like invite my friends along and things like that so we could just talk about random crap while we're driving. And I figured today's discussion can be boys. The best topic because <laughs> they're very hard to figure out. People say women are complicated, but it's actually men. It's men. It's 100% men. Thousand times. How do you feel dating is now versus when you were like first starting to date? Because I feel like dating now is so like yeah. extra and there's so much more to the like the game. Totally, totally. One thing I thought of when you said that was online dating because it's this weird phenomenon of meeting someone across a screen and then getting to know them relatively well. Usually that's what I would do is sort of get to know someone to a point where you're comfortable and then go on a date with them. But then you're still meeting them for the first time in real life. So it is this weird feeling of like, I know you, but do I know you? Yeah, yeah but I feel like meeting in person now is so abnormal. It's so weird. Because it's like, it's very immediate. Yeah, it's so weird. So no if one... you're like in a club, like a guy comes up to you and starts talking to you, you're kind of, I'm, I feel like I'm like taken back. And I'm like, oh yeah, you want to talk to me? Okay, hi. Um, yeah. Fuck. Um, where like when you're on a screen you can kind of like take your time to answer so you can like yeah. put your best foot forward Totally, totally and, and less tragic things happen <laughs> Yeah, and in person like if someone comes up to you you instantly and just like oh they're just trying to pick up and Yeah, yeah, you like, don't think they want to date you No They think that you just, think just want, they want to have sex with you I figured what was interesting is the fact that we both are on different spectrums of the dating scene Like I'm in a relationship and you're like I would say reasonably freshly single and ready to mingle. Yeah, totally. I really enjoyed being single. I really enjoy yeah. my relationship now. Yeah. But I always enjoyed like the dating aspect of being single. Ah, like, I mean, it's, is it technically being single? Oh my god. Um, Why, when you're like, dating, yeah, totally. Okay, so please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please this please is the fun me. of a driving vlog. Mm, yeah. People just see our reactions. Will we die? They die. But Van was too close for comfort. <laughs> so. Yes. Back to the topic. <laughs> Boys both our experiences we have obviously everyone's experiences is yeah. very different but I enjoyed dating people that I was friends with so guys that I have always like flirted but been f really good friends as you sometimes do with your platonic male friends if you're into dudes interesting yeah is it because you were already close and then like that um, that awkwardness wasn't it there totally exactly yeah. and see yeah. i low-key live for the awkwardness because it's like what what are they going to bring to the table and i know what i'm going to bring to the table yeah. to break that but what are they going to bring oh, see, and i feel okay. like what they bring determines mm. whether they get a second date or not because right. i was like a serial data at right. one point in my life where i'm talking okay. like three different men a week wow it was bad how did you meet them that's not just bad. online just I would just, I just wasn't picky. <laughs> like, I would just be like, oh, yeah, cool. And they'd be like, oh, I want to go out for dinner or whatever. I'm like, yeah. I used to get so much free food. Free food? No wonder I wonder was back. Um, free. <laughs> but I lived for the experience. Like, I really yeah. enjoy meeting someone new, getting to That's know nice. them. And it's like, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. That's really and nice. And I also got, like, heaps of story times out of it, which you probably see. Yeah. People have probably watched on my channel. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll have to go see but, them, actually. I need to do it. Yeah. I need to do a binge. <laughs> It's funny watching your friend on YouTube. Like, yeah, a lot of people tell me that. Yeah, it's interesting. It's like, I feel like I know you and I'm like, because you do. You do. <laughs> have you had any like super bad dates? Like what's the worst date? Oh yes, I do have such a good bad date story. So, basically, when I was about 18, I was at a bar with some friends in Brisbane and one of the staff at the place fancied me, but he knew the girls I was with. And so he went up to them and was like, hey, like, I really like your friend. Can we, can you ask her if she'd like to go out with me? I ended up briefly speaking to him. We added each other on Facebook and then he asked me out. And he was a lot older. He was an AFL player. He was like 70. <laughs> he was uh, yeah, just 70. His gums are full. <laughs> anyway, so this guy was like 20, 223 and as an 18 year old I was new to the game and this was like quite intimidating we organized a date and he's like I'll come pick you up from your house and this was like new to me no one's ever done this like the chivalry the, <laughs> the chivalry was intense so he came and picked me up in my head as a woman I was like fuck he knows where I live <laughs> he drove to South Bank and then he's like so now we're going to walk to the city 
and I was like, what? If you know Brisbane, South Bank and like Eagle P Eagle Street Pier is like on opposite ends of... It's like a good K and a bit walk. It's right? ages. He's like, you know, I'll park over here because it's free and we can like walk and get to know each other. And I was like, okay. You know, he's got this plan. I like walking after dinner. I, yeah. yeah, like he's got a plan. I don't want to commit to walking around with you unless you yeah. get me a meal. <laughs> and he took me to a nice place called Jade Buddha. I think it's Thai food. But it just felt like really awkward the whole time. I, I was like getting mixed vibes because I was like, he's sending me on this nice date, you know, paying for everything being very chivalrous and then on the way back sort of like what are you doing now like what are you oh doing? i always hate that point in the date yeah. where it's like you can tell it's over but they don't want it to be over unless it's mutually like you don't want it to be over then yeah. that's cool unless, but when yeah. you're like i'm done yeah. <laughs> like, when they're like basically saying do you want to come over and fuck yeah. and then you're just like i really don't want to or and they're like let's like they're always like let's go to a lookout and that's just like <laughs> aka like you're gonna try and want to bone me or you're gonna try and want to make out me, me. Or, no one goes to a lookout and just looks at the sky. looks <laughs> at the dark black sky um it's not but a thing. remember this is the first time i've properly had a, like met him like i briefly met him at the bar like to exchange details and he grabbed my hand mm -hmm. and now this might not seem like a big deal but to me holding hands is very intimate he had these huge like strong my AFL hands. playing hands and I was like <laughs> I was like petrified I was like oh my god his I, hands gonna eat my hand <laughs> well no more just like I can't break free <laughs> <laughs> and Zach Efron is pissed I felt super uncomfortable he was holding my hand and I was like I don't know you I don't feel like I should be holding your hand I was clearly giving off body language that I didn't want to and I should have maybe said something assertive I remember we were driving back to my house but when we had gotten in the car we sort of sat there for a little bit and there was this awkward like where are we going and I was like take me home please I get a message from him later that night a picture of like an angle from his bed and he's saying like wish you were here and then that's when I blocked him <laughs> like telling a story now it honestly doesn't sound that bad no like, like if that's your worst day that's pretty good you should, yeah I have a whole story time about my worst day and it's like long it's too long to get into I'll, yeah. I'll just link it down below if you want to watch it really awful like he treated you badly like he was really bad on top of him treating me really badly mm. I'll just say like one thing that happened on the date within half an hour of us like being around each other yeah. he was like trying to kiss me and i was like oh well um that's a bit extreme and he's like oh aren't you just like so turned on right now that you want to like lust <gasps> towards each other yeah and i was like oh no i have to have really great self-control and he goes oh yeah except when it comes to food right <gasps> and i was like bitch oh my god i would have just fucking i didn't have a choice to leave because we were like 40 minutes from my home and i didn't bring my wallet I learned from that. I oh learned from God. that. Always bring your shit. Always. Always. You never ask, like, like you must be so turned on right now. Yeah. Like, you never say no, that. No, I'm not, because I, I know, I've known you for, like, 30 minutes. But well, this is a sort of, like... That's, like, the part uh, of online dating that I really don't like. Is yes. that you can just be as vulgar as you want. Yes, but also men that you meet in real life too like i felt like that on that date i can't explain things very well but i felt uncomfortable and some men and boys don't realize like that they can make you feel really uncomfortable yeah and it's not like, hard on first date to make someone uncomfortable yeah totally. which i think but I, I also feel like it works the other way like i'm sure women do things that make guys totally what would a woman do though that makes just be man? really forceful like okay. just like guys can be like you yeah. know just be like yeah. really over the top yeah. I think a lot of guys get really turned off like if a girl gets really drunk on the first date it just looks yeah. embarrassing like I've had guys get drunk on me on the first date and it's like it doesn't bother me as much I just kind of care about who you turn into when you're drunk yeah, so if exactly. you turn into this sloppy ugly mess I don't want to date you if you totally. turn into an angry person don't want to date you well uh, this is how uh, I got in with this guy but it ended up being a bit awkward so yes. I was in my so first this is a new story new guy new story new guy okay let's go so I have a thing for guys with the name Liam <laughs> But this was like <laughs> one of the first to start this trend. Oh, okay, and so there's been multiple Liam's. There's been like five. Wow, <laughs> I have a, the letter J problem. Like, I'm serious. Mm. I've dated Jacks, Josh's, um, J Jamin's. Um, Jamin. Fucking, I, like, you name it, I've, da of, I've dated a J. Of L's. Yeah, like, it so I've dated like three J's. They're all the fuck boys. <laughs> Literally, except for now. Except for now, yeah. There was a point where I remember when I started dating Jack and I told my friends about it. I was like, look. Because I dated a Jay, then I dated a Jake. And, no, like, and then dude. I, I was like, so I'm starting to see this new guy, and they're like, just tell me his name doesn't start with Jay. And I was like, it does. And they're like, what the fuck? That's and then funny. I was like, but it's Jack. I haven't dated a Jack yet. <laughs> I think it's a thing. Yeah. Comment below. It must be what's like, your trend name? 
her dating name. I feel like it's it must be a good sign. It must be like an energy thing, like you know, like it must the yeah. one must be around Liam. So like yeah. maybe maybe Although, he'll date a Leon or something, and then he'll be oh, the one. I like the name Leon. Anyway, so the first Liam was one I was at uni and I met him because he was friends with the guy that took my virginity. He was like my wig man as well, which was like perfect. That's interesting. And You'd be like, I've hit it, you should hit it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, was like, yeah, you know, Liam's really cool. Like, you should get to know him. And basically, I did the classic thing where I messaged him and he was like a catch, right? He was built like a fucking brick. But there was definitely some reasons why he was still single, let's just say this. He wanted it to be like platonic, but he, couldn't say no to me because I was clearly giving off vibes. See, this might have been a situation where I made a guy uncomfortable. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, my ex. So we met at a gig and that was really nice because... Don't date musicians, rule of thumb. <laughs> not, not saying that this musician isn't dateable, it's fine. I'm just talking in general. I dated drummers, I've dated... Is he dateable? <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. I'll be <laughs> so we met in a really nice way and it was really organic and anyway i didn't talk about like a good date that i've been on actually so what is a good date what makes a good date there we go tips nah what makes a good date i find picnics are really nice you can right? talk but you can also talk about your food yeah my favorite first date is time zone <laughs> mainly because then i get a free trip to time zone but also and there's it's a good time because you can yeah. be competitive which is cute and flirty yeah yeah but then you can also totally. kind of disappear if you don't like them. This is why I like dating my friends because yeah. then you always have something to talk about. But dating your friends isn't a great strategy because you'll run out of friends. <laughs> they seem to be fine with it but see I don't know. <laughs> That's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let us know your bad and good dating stories. I need to hear them. Until next time I'll talk to you later. Bye! Bye.